friends, I'm back to my regular weekly what we're reading, so let's get started because we read a lot this week. So the first thing is that I finished Scott Pilgrim Volumes 5 and 6. It's only a six volume series, so I'm done with this. Um, I thought it was really good, I enjoyed it. I did feel like the beginning, like volumes 1 and 2, maybe 3 were a lot better than the ending, but it still ended up being really cool. I enjoyed it. Besides the regular books that we just have laying around the house that I read to the boys when they ask me to, these are the two selections that we read this week from the library. This is a board book. It was super cute, but I couldn't find it on Goodreads at all, so that's kind of strange. Um, it's like this little dinosaur person thing I don't know and it's it's rhyming which I really like I love reading rhyming books to the boys and it's basically like whatever you do I love you that's the title of the story so okay and the high-rise private eyes the case of the baffled bear this is a whole series and but this is just one that my son happened to pick out at the library um, I thought it was okay it was kind of weird but my son really really loved it he sat and listened to this whole story um, in one sitting, so whatever. If you liked it, I liked it. That's cool. I read Othello this week. Um, if you watched my previous What We're Reading, uh, I had gotten a copy of this from the library and the first act was ripped out or had fallen out, um, so I got a new copy. This one was obviously intact. Um, I really love the Oxford editions of these plays because they give like all these these are all notes on the side and the verses are numbered and everything so uh, it makes it just really easy for me to read without having to go to a secondary source for reference. So that was Othello. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm not a huge Shakespeare fan, I'll be totally honest, but um, Othello was pretty good. I find it kind of humorous, but I guess I have a sick sense of humor, so I don't know. I also finished Holly Black's 2015 publication, The Darkest Part of the Forest. This is a young adult novel about um, a town where the fair folk and regular human beings live together, sort of, and it's just like this normal thing. It's kind of a touristy sort of town, which I thought was a really interesting plot. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. I have this obsession with the fair folk. so. Any book that has to do with fairies, I pretty much am guaranteed to like at least a little bit, even though they tend to be really bad. Um, but yeah, okay, so overall I really enjoyed this book. Um, it's probably one of the better books about the fair folk that I've ever read, So, and I'm pretty sure this is my first Holly Black, so I have a few more of her novels on my to-read list, so I'll definitely be checking out some more of her books. Plus, look at this cover. Isn't this beautiful? I don't know what's going on here, but I love it. I read The Green Mile this week as well. I read the whole thing. It took me like two days because I could not put it down. It was so good. You guys, if you like this movie, you need to read the book because obviously the book is better. The book is always better. This like broke my heart. I felt totally traumatized and brutalized after I had finished it, but I loved it. I loved every second of it. You guys know I've been working on this monster for several weeks now, I think actually since September. I think I've been working on this sep since September. So I finally finished this morning, actually. And um, yeah, overall, I think what I do when I read short story collections is that I actually write like a one sentence review of each short story as I go and I rate each short story on a scale of one to five. And then when I'm done with it, I can just rate the whole volume based on the average score. So I think these stories averaged out to a 3 out of 5, so uh, it wasn't that great, but there are some gems in here. There's some really good ones in here. But that's done, and on I go. I'm reading this old volume of Batman currently called The Death in the Family that is, I don't know, can I really make spoilers if it's like a almost 30-year-old volume? I don't know, but... This is the volume in which Robin dies, the Joker kills Robin. So I'm just reading this because, oh look, I flipped to the right page. Um, I'm just reading this because it's kind of um, central to a lot of the Batman storylines. So I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to start the new Batman like in the, the new universe. 
my last video was actually posted on Wednesday that it was an unboxing of this book, The Bazaar of Bad Dreams by Stephen King, was released on November 3rd, 4th, 3rd, 4th, I don't remember, whatever, a couple days ago, and um, I've obviously started that already. And look, my type anus knows no bounds. I've already tabbed all the stories in here. There's 20. And I finished the first one, which was actually a novella, so that was one of the longer ones, Mile 81. Which, oh, you guys, is about a car that eats people, and I love Stephen King, but I am just done with the monster car thing. I don't find it scary, I don't find it interesting, I'm just done with it. I will probably finish Batman um, sometime this afternoon, and then I will start The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I don't even remember what this is about. Alright y'all, to the magic of video editing, I suddenly know what this book is about again. Um, so basically there's like this queen, princess lady, that is born, and um, her mother dies, and they have to put her into hiding, and then she comes forward to claim her rightful place as queen. I love crap like this, you guys, so ridiculous. Um, but there's magic and there's intrigue and there's bad guys and it's young adult and it's gonna be awesome. This is the first book in a trilogy. I don't know how old this is. Hold on, more magic. Okay guys, it came out last year, so I don't know if the second book is out yet or not, but um, yeah. It's the first in a trilogy. It sounded right up my alley, so I got it. Plus, look how pretty it is. I love the cover and this i love this how pretty is this and this is weird i don't know if my library has like a special edition or what but it has the the ribbon bookmark in it too cool this is a really popular one right now but i have the first volume of deadpool in the new universe that i'm gonna read at some point this week maybe this weekend i usually reserve my comics for weekend reading but um i have that i'm gonna read it i don't really know anything pretty much at all about deadpool but it's a hip new thing, so I'm going to read it. And finally, I have yet another one of my guilty pleasures. It's just like a theme this month or something, but um, I don't know. Uh, another one of my guilty pleasures is historical fiction involving um, royalty, I guess. Mainly, I'm obsessed with the Tudors, but Mistress of the Sun is actually about the mistress to... Oh, what was his name? King Francis the Fourteenth. Let me check. My bad, Louis the Fourteenth, the Sun King. It's about, yeah, his mistress, and I don't really remember what all happens with her, but I'm bound to love it anyway, so I will read this next week. And that is it for all of the reading that is going on. I know I'm a little bit crazy. It seems like everyone else does these videos one month at a time, like, you know, an October wrap-up. Can you imagine what my videos would look like? If I saved all of this for a month, how ridiculous would that be? This is what one week looks like for me. This is everything that I read last week. This is what I'm currently reading, right? This very moment. And this is what I plan to read the coming up week. But you know it's going to be way more than that because I go to the library today and pick up. I think I have nine holds. <laughs> okay. So have a good weekend, YouTube. Bye-bye.